Good afternoon from International Pipe and Supply. My name is Darren Sparks, and what to do in this steel pipe market? Well, your guess is as good as mine. So I'll just tell you what we're experiencing, and maybe it'll help you out. There are shortages in the market in certain sizes, and the mills are running as hard as they can. The import's been delayed. There's raw material increases, competition for coil that's made, which is the precursor to steel pipe being made. So there's all kinds of factors you can look up online, and someone will try to outguess it. And pipe prices just continue to go up. Uh, most of us feel they've maybe reached their top, but what do you do in the meantime? Do you wait for them to go back down? Here's what we're seeing. They don't have any indication of going down for at least a while, at least maybe through the end of the year. No one can guarantee that because with the swipe of a pin from any administration, that can change things radically. But generally feeling, here's the problem. There's shortages in the market, prices keep going up. People are now engaging in projects that have been delayed and they got prices on three months ago. And what they're running into is that pipe either doesn't exist or that pricing doesn't exist. And that can be a major problem if you're a contractor. That can be a major problem if you're a supplier and what to do with that. Because what we're finding is people are calling back to buy the pipe that we quoted them two months ago. That pipe's already been sold and gone and there's not a replacement for it currently or they used prices they got last year at this time when they did the feasibility and those prices don't exist anymore. So what should you do? Well, we're staying aggressive and that's what we'd recommend for you because projects are still gonna happen. The, the market is still turning, just like cars are still selling, houses are still selling, projects are still going and you need to commit early to your product and you need to commit and order early because you could have delays from the mill. You could uh, have delays getting it shipped. Logistics is a nightmare right now, so shipping the product is a problem. So who, what, where, when is super critical, and communication needs to ramp up between supplier, contractor, and owner because somebody's gonna have to commit along the way to make sure the project can get done. This is where surplus can fill in the gaps between waiting for new or the prices you didn't got a while ago don't work anymore, but I would caution you to be aggressive and buy your pipe and be aggressive in stock pipe because there's still projects and they're still going and key sizes will still be key sizes and a lot of times you just have to average the inventory but those that play it super conservative looking to save a few cents on pipe are going to find themselves without pipe for their project and without pipe for their stock inventory so our recommendation in this market is stay aggressive we're moving pipe you're probably moving pipe and waiting for that perfect price is like waiting for stock to hit bottom and it just you're never going to catch it just right so be smart stock your inventories construction people you need to commit early buy as quick as you can lock in that price and keep it for your project because you may find yourself not working or delayed because you can't get the pipe on time so our recommendation in this market stay aggressive keep working we appreciate you uh -huh.